When it comes to setting up your controller tab in X lights, which we were just sequencing, so we're in the sequencer. Now we can go over to the controller. Uh, setting up your controllers and in the layout tab, assigning things is one of the things in X lights that I found has about as many different opinions as there are flavors of jelly beans. There's a lot of ways you can do it and make it work. In this video, I want to show you how I do things, how I like to do things, and hopefully it will make your life easier. Okay, so the very first thing you've got to do is set up an actual controller. These are the outputs you're going to use for your display. Now notice we did all our layout and all of our sequencing before we even came here. So you can do it in that order. You can also set this up first, and if you do, when you're in the sequencer, you can go ahead and turn on output to lights. And once that output turns on, it's not going to because I don't have a controller configured, but you, it turns yellow and has a little arrow. And then as you're sequencing, as you're working in the sequencer, you'll actually see it physically um, communicate to your controller and turn on the lights. Now, of course, if your lights aren't set up when you're sequencing, like a lot of us, that's not going to do you any good. That's why I do this after sequencing in my tutorials. <laughs> so the, the quickest, easiest way to, to get started here is to go here under controllers and we're just going to add our controller. So whatever type of controller you add, this is the type we're going to add here. Most of you will be adding Ethernet, okay? Whether you've got a Falcon controller, an Advitech, an Entech, whoever uh, your controller's from, you'll be, it's an Ethernet controller. So we press add and then we've got some different options here. A lot of these things we're going to leave alone, okay? The first is the IP address. You want to set up the IP address of your controller, which I recommend setting to a static IP address. So in this case, um, mine is uh, 192.168.0.202. Now, once you enter this, if you have the controller plugged in and on and your network is configured correctly, you'll actually see a green light down here where this is red, and that's pretty cool. Just to let you know, hey, the controller's online, we're talking, we're good. Mine's not plugged in right now, and that may be what you run into as well. Next we go ahead, we can name it. First of all, so say mine is a Falcon F48. I'll just name it that so I know what this is. We'll go ahead and set the protocol. Now, E131 is a great protocol, SACM. Um, but I would recommend, if you're new to this especially, unless you just have to use FPP to play back your show, if you don't mind using your computer to play back a show, you can then use ZCPP, which is Zero Configuration Pixel Protocol, and it's really a lot easier to set up. And that's what I'm going to walk through here. Of course, like I mentioned before, um, I've got Learn Christmas Lighting Academy as well, which has a bunch of videos in it. It's a, a premium membership, basically. It's not that expensive, though. And you can check that out at learnchristmaslighting.com slash wait. We'll have a link here as well as below the video. But um, I, I show you how to set up Ethernet and ZCPP in there. Um, they're pretty similar, but what we want to do then is check everything we want to check. So like I've got smart remotes on my Falcon, done. Um, supports virtual strings, those are usable. I'm not going to use those in my display. Um, you can send the data multicast or by default it's going to be unicast. Um, again, there's no need to turn that on unless you know you're using it. Um, if you're a networking person, do understand that SACN or E131 um, is not going to multicast data unless you have a switch that supports it. You probably knew that, but it has to have the uh, IGMP snooping. Anyways, if you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. And <laughs> then that's all we've got to do if we're doing ZCPP. Like I mentioned, there's also E131. That's another popular one to use, also known as SACN in the stage lighting world where I come from. And you'll want to set your universe count and start universe there. Again, it's a Falcon F48. It's got 96 universes maximum, so I would set that as so. But I'm going to go ahead and go back to ZCPP and then save. You can add multiple controllers, um, etc., but this is the basics to get things started. Once you've got your controller added, we're just going to go to the Layout tab. And for any prop that we have, we can now go to the controller connection portion right here in the setup and you can set the port number. Now on Falcon controllers and most of them which are really popular that have the long range type outputs, the port numbers are typically labeled on the main controller like 1 through 4, 5 through 8, etc. And so you want to use that 
uh, number, which number you're actually going to plug the pixel string in on the end board. So say, for example, this matrix is on port one, done. Then maybe I go ahead and take this polyline and put it in port two, done. Uh, if you're using smart remotes, you can configure which smart remote it is. And then the protocol, generally it's going to be WS2811 if you're using bullet pixel nodes or square or similar like that. And, um, oops, just scroll down that. And then we can also set other things in here like brightness, etc. If we have multiple, um, say we go ahead and put this one in port 3, and if we have multiple of the same model that we want to adjust, we can just highlight them. And we can right click bulk edit, set things such as the controller connection, or in this case, the brightness, set that in bulk to whatever we want, press okay. And it's now set. Okay. Now the very last step of controller setup is to upload our settings to our controller. If we're using ZCPP now, um, it's actually sent in the sequence, which is super helpful. But if you're using SACN, then you just get to go in here right click and um, you just have to basically go ahead and set it you go in here whoop, and you upload the outputs to your controller now in this case i don't have it connected right now but if you if i did have it connected you would see a window pop up that just walks you through um hey here's your controller it's attached press upload um, and upload all of that information to sync basically your setup here in X lights with what's in your controller. You also could set it up manually. And uh, some people do that, especially if your controllers not, um, if they're not, um, supported here, but most of the time you select your vendor, you select your model and it's going to support that upload and it's going to enable you to do that. Actually, I can do that now. Um, and when it's done, you see a success message. I'm not going to see that right now, but you can always save because again, Mine's not connected. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video, friend, and uh, for subscribing here on Learning Christmas Lighting. If you, if you have liked this, be sure to press like, be sure to subscribe. And then in the next video, we're going to talk about scheduling so that uh, you can see when you've got different programs, when you've got different things recorded, how do you schedule them in X-Lights? I'm going to show you in the next video on this playlist. Thanks.